those that uh, watched my first video of how to prepare insanity grasshoppers in english of course most people don't know how to prepare it most people love crunchy and most people like the taste like you feel what you're eating i um, must say i don't like crunchy insanity but i prefer the one that you feel like you're eating grasshoppers and of course first of all you put um low of maybe if you're using charcoal you don't put a lot of heat if you're using gas as me um like you put medium like the heat has to be medium if you put a lot of uh heat that means like the grasshoppers are going to seriously get burnt after the heat you push your saucepan and then you have to put like a saucepan depending on the on the amount you're going to put in the saucepan the grasshoppers then you have to measure the cooking oil uh, if you put a lot of cooking oil, yet also the grasshoppers also produce their own fart. That means it's going to be like very oily. So you have to measure like, you don't have to measure like using maybe a spoon, but you measure according to the eyes, like the like the quantity you're going to put. So I've started by putting my grasshoppers inside, as you can see. Um, you put on the way you have put the the cooking oil uh for those sometimes people love cooking with uh, different flavors like putting um, onion putting tomatoes green pepper but for me um i like to preserve to preserve them until so you put uh cook like cooking oil and after that after putting your grasshoppers you put salt you put salt immediately after they start cooking themselves because if you don't put salt immediately that means like the salt is not is going to be raw like the salt isn't going to mix with the grasshoppers but before i do proceed don't forget to subscribe like share and also do leave a comment if you have not uh, like learned I will teach you step by step slowly over and over again just go into my comment section so after that you have to mix keep mixing until you see that turn to color i hope you saw the first color that was green right now they are turning to yellowish orange and of course you keep on testing as for me i keep on testing because i don't like them to be crunchy i like them to be like they are cooked but not so cooked like if you like them crunchy that means uh you know so like you're going to really see them that they have started preparing themselves and they are orange yellow as you can see there is no cooking all the cooking all that i put it was really really enough because i kept on testing if the salt is also enough so that's why it's like that it is very very delicious guys very very delicious if you missed any step you can still inbox me or maybe like i'm going to put my number yes and you'll be able to contact me if you need more guidance in the steps that i have used as you can see that is the final step and they are ready and they are ready to be eaten they're ready to be packed to be served to your friends family friends because they're very very sweet uh for us in uganda we call them in senene i don't know in your language how you call them but in luganda it's called in senene english grasshoppers they mostly are uh, the season is from november to december i think it depends on the season sometimes there are few sometimes you may have them when they are in mob side so and it depends so that's how the preparation ended with good 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 salt i had to put some chili in it you can still put spice you can still put anything but just put the spice like chili but don't put green pepper like don't put uh uh reiko it's not necessary you have to only put things that are, are put inside it's only spice that chili you put onion you put green pepper you can put tomato but i didn't want to put them because i prefer them like that to preserve them for a longer time so don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell and also comment below